coming in with big punches there. Kara Kirsch trying to land after taking one early, Jeremy, like you mentioned, eating a punch to give a punch. Well, and Katie Howard landed a, a kick, but she didn't put her leg back down, and it was the, the, the process of not putting the leg back down on the mat, which caused her to eat that punch, and it was a big punch, and now a vicious elbow from Kara Kirsch. A nice elbow against the cage. Just a three inch difference between them in height, Jeremy, but you can see the limbs of Katie Howard quite a bit longer than that of Kara Kirsch. Well, it's one of those things that when they're when they're shorter fighters, uh, a difference between six foot two and six foot four, not so much, but the difference between five three and five six is a very big difference when it comes to height and reach. And Katie Howard using that reach right now to keep Kara Kirsch at bay. So Katie Howard has Kirsch up against the cage. Kirsch with a nice reversal there, and, and Howard just steps right back over her to reverse it back, back and forth now against the cage. Both of these fighters looking for an opportunity to cause some damage. Well, and Katie Howard fought in, as, as a wrestler when she was growing up, and at the time, there really wasn't women's wrestling. It hadn't really taken off yet in the United States, and so wrestled against men who were at the same weight, so has no problems dealing with the strength that Kara Kirsch has, and that's a nice spinning back kick by Katie Howard. That referee moments ago stepping them off the cage, figuring that there wasn't enough action from either fighter. Howard again trying to strike and, and Kirsch forced into being more of a counter puncher waiting for Howard to take her down or to, to throw a punch before she can. And now it's Howard securing the takedown is on and is on top. Using the bear hug and just stepping through outside trip on the leg. And you look for Katie Howard to try and get to the mount and get Katie Howard off, oh, sorry, get Kara Kirsch Barton off of the cage and so that she can't use the cage to get up. And you look here, again, that length isn't being used as a, as a deterrent with the jab. It's being used, it's, it's similar to fighting a tarantula. I used to wrestle against guys who had very long, and it's the same feeling that you just feel overwhelmed because the arms are reaching around to places where you don't expect them to reach to. Katie Howard on top, blood coming from the nose of Kara Kirsch. <laughs> Kirsch now back to her feet. Howard looking again for another takedown, but Kirsch doing a nice job of kind of wrapping up her arms and keeping them in tight and trying to prevent some damage. And again, going to this bear hug with the trip to the outside and landing in a good position. And in the guard right now of Kara Kirsch is Katie Howard. Katie Howard gonna try and get her arms free to be able to lay down some strikes here with one minute and 25 seconds remaining in the round. So Kirsch has the one arm trapped on the, on the near side to us. Keep working. The other side, Kirsch trying to find room underneath. Howard on top getting a warning from the official to keep working. He's already stood them up once. And it's all about position here, trying to position the chess match to get one position for one good shot. I'm going to make a defensive hold, you're going to make an offensive hold. And it goes back and forth until one is either able to escape or the other is able to posture up to land a big shot. So again, Howard on top of Kirsch here with one minute or 45 seconds rather remaining in the first round. Big breaths here from Kara Kirsch. Trying to get that oxygen in, not necessarily because she is tired, but more just to keep the oxygen flowing. It's yeah. And the referee's going to call them standing. Not enough action going on on the ground. So just 25 seconds left in round one. Katie Howard might have it on the judges' scorecards due to the action on the ground. Eric Kirsch might have to try and throw something here in the last couple seconds to get a good shot or a chance at winning the first round. Spinning back fist attempt there by Katie Howard. Nice combination of a kick and a right hand. So round number two now underway, Kara Kirsch and Katie Howard. 
And again, an, a more patient start to the round as opposed to what we saw in round number one. Maybe now uh, knowing their range and trying to find the hole. A nice head kick attempt there. Blocked though by Katie Howard. Keeping the distance, trying to find the range is Kara Kerr. She's landed that head kick. It was blocked partially, but still some damage there. This is where this is where Kara Kirsch needs to be. Pushing up Katie Howard against the cage. It's not going to allow her to finish with using that, that bear hugs takedown that she's been using so effectively. But again, now it's Howard getting underneath, kind of lifting Kirsch off her feet a bit, driving her up against the cage and using that height to her advantage. And body head shot there from Kara Kirsch. Howard again continuing to work up against the cage. Kirsch now trying to find an opening to try and get out of there, Jeremy. She hasn't been able to do so so far. Katie Howard doing a very effective job of holding her up there. And that's that wrestling stance, the power of, of going against somebody and just putting your body strength against theirs. Katie Howard doing that here. But again, being stood up by the official and stood away from the cage. Not enough work being done by Katie Howard once she gets her up against the cage. So I think knees and strikes probably what the, the official is looking for once she gets her up against the cage. That's a good combination there from Katie Howard coming forward, throwing from all different angles. There's a wide looping punch, a straight punch, and a knee. And so the different angles makes Kara Kirsch have to defend kind of all over and not knowing where the strikes are coming from. And that was something Kara Kirsch said, that she was a bit of a wild striker. The problem is, is if you can accurately land with those wild strikes, you're very difficult to defend against. And just because it's wild doesn't mean it doesn't land. And we've got Katie Howard again with Kara Kirsch up against the cage. This time, Jeremy, she's landed a couple punches and the referee right on top of her to make sure that she's not holding the cage and holding her opponent against it. But she's gonna have to land some strikes here or again, they're gonna get separated. There's a good There's knee a there. Just as you said it, she lands a knee. So Kirsch trying a trip of her own, but Howard having none of that and pushes her back up against the cage. Kirsch now does get the reversal in front of the officials and, and now landing punches. And Jeremy, I think if, if Katie Howard could have done that, she would have been a lot more successful up against the cage. And Kara Kirsch trying to land damage here and use the cage to her advantage, take away that height and reach advantage of Katie Howard. Ooh, that was a, a knee that landed White in the upper thigh. The action continues and Katie Howard again. Just that, it, it must feel to Kara Kirsch to just, the, the arms are so long that she's able to lock up so effectively with ease that even if you have a very good strong overhook, you're still able to lock up because of that length. And that's a good combination there, punch, punch knee. Yeah, some nice striking now from Katie Howard up against the cage. Maybe uh, taking to heart the lesson of being stood away from the cage twice. And so far, uh, Katie Howard again, as she did in round number one, kind of using her body position to keep herself away from Kara Kirsch and prevent Kara from doing any damage, while at the same time starting to land some of her own. It's a nice knee, but here's Kara Kirsch again and just continuing to move forward. He, she doesn't, uh, she doesn't, stop moving she's never resting and that's something that can come to play in the third round if she can keep up that that pace throughout the third round that it could be her opportunity to come back in this fight so again the referee separates them some punches now thrown in the center of the cage and right back up against the cage wall Kara Kirsch takes Katie Howard good pressure forward by Kara Kirsch I'm surprised that she's not throwing knees from this position We'd expect to see some strikes, but again, Howard now reverses it as she has done. Almost every time Kira Kirsch has Katie Howard up against the cage, it's just a matter of time before Howard drives her back. And one of the best in the business, Randy Couture, used to use this technique all the time. I'm going to push my opponent up against the cage and lean all my body weight against them and wear them down and win the fight in the later rounds. And that looks to be the strategy so far for Katie Howard. In just five seconds, a short time left. And Katie Howard lands an elbow to Kara Kirsch right before the round comes to a close. 
I think if you're Kara Kirsch, you got to throw caution to the wind at, at this point. So round three underway, and Kara Kirsch coming out hard to start round one, landing a bunch of strikes and driving Howard up against the cage, and now some knees. Jeremy, a little more vigor coming from Kara Kirsch here in round three. Well, she's got to know she's trailing in this fight, so likely trailing in this fight, so needs to get that position. But again, Katie Howard pushing the hips back, getting the double underhooks and taking her up against the cage and neutralizing Kara Kirsch's ability to be offensive here. And there's a short knee and some punches being thrown on the inside there. Again, blood coming from the noses of both fighters at this point. A huge knee there up against the cage. And I don't know why the referee is stopping it. Not quite sure either. It's a knee, it's a knee to the head, but he's, she's not a down to, oh. The hand was down but came up with the knee, so I don't necessarily see the illegal blow, but I can understand where perhaps that came from. And look at the nose of Kara Kirsch. Lots yeah. of blood coming from that. So the, the hand was down, and that is a huge point deduction for Katie Howard right now. That is a massive, massive change in this fight. Now with that point being taken away. Well, and if Kara Kirsch, if Kara Kirsch can continue in this fight, uh, and she will be continuing in this fight, she now has to win this round to get a draw. And I don't think that that's what she wants, but that's the situation that she's in right now, that if she can win one round, she will secure a draw. Whereas Katie Howard now needs to secure this just to get the victory. Yeah, and... and I mean, I, I understand the purpose of a, a knee to the head of a downed opponent rule, but if one fingertip is on the ground, uh, it's just not much difference in that knee than if the fingertip isn't touching. Well, and rules are rules, but uh, when they look at that one after, I, I don't know whether the hand was on when the knee actually connected, but we have to trust our officials, and we get the benefit of looking at replays and looking at slow motion where he has to call exactly what he sees at the time. And uh, so... Again, our officials the best in the business, and so we'll trust their judgment on this one. So Katie Howard again has Kara Kirsch up against the cage, having one point deducted here in the third round, and she is trying her best to now have to get that back. Instead of having two rounds already in the books, now she's got a round uh, and potentially uh, a draw in the second round. So you're right, Jeremy, she does have to win this round to win the fight. Now Kara Kirsch pushing Katie Howard up against a really high knee that went almost over Kara Kirsch's head. So showing the flexibility here at the 115 pound weight class. Now some punches to the midsection from Kara. Also goes high. Katie trying to catch her with a knee. You can hear her coaches calling for underhooks, which she's used very successfully in this fight to get her off, off the cage and has done so here again. One, I think the, a takedown is needed here for Katie Howard to secure at least the lead in the round because Kara Kirsch has had some effective striking this round, some effective positioning. So again, with that point deduction, it's very important here for Katie Howard to push forward. But on the other side, Kara Kirsch has to know that she can salvage a draw if she can just win this round. And I know that's not the result she wants and she's gonna be trying to finish the fight, but sometimes you have to fight for what you have available to you. So Katie Howard again has Kara Kirsch up against the cage, continuing to fight the referee, making sure that she takes her hands out of the cage, but secures a knee, but Kara Kirsch now reversing the position and trying to get in on her own trying to land damage, trying to salvage a draw from this fight if it should go the distance. Kara Kirsch now looking for a takedown, might be her first of the fight as she's got her hands underneath the butt of Katie Howard and is trying to now damage her knees and take away a bit of that sprawl and now does secure the takedown. And that is a big takedown for Kara Kirsch, possibly a fight altering takedown as she's landing some quick shoulder punches now. Any way to do damage to her opponent. 
and by doing that damage, trying to secure this round. Working inside now, putting the hand over the mouth of Katie Howard, trying to prevent her from breathing in, which slows her down. Every lost breath can be drastically effective throughout the fight. So now Kara Kirsch trying to posture up, trying to get into the mount, and continuing to throw shots. Third and final round, a nice elbow there from Kirsch on top, looking for a finish, looking to get a win here against Katie Howard, trying to do as much damage as she can. Howard doing a good job though, Jeremy, trying to get her back into the guard. And in the guard now, with short time remaining, just 10 seconds remaining in the round. So it's a final flurry expected from Kara Kirsch. Big punch is coming, but Katie Howard locks her down and holds her. This one's going to be very interesting as we look towards the judges' scorecards in the event of a draw.